Now we'll discuss about electromagnetic relays. So first is the overcurrent relay. In an overcurrent relay, the actuating quantity is only current. So there is only one current operated element in the relay. No voltage coil. The main principle is there would be uh, a, a essentially a current coil. So when normally current flows through the coil, the magnetic effect generated by the coil is not sufficient to move the moving element of the relay. But when the current through the coil is increased, the magnetic effect increases. And after a certain level of current, the deflecting force generated by the magnetic effect of the coil crosses the restraining force. So although there are different types of overcurrent relays, but basic working principle of overcurrent relay is more or less same for all. Types of overcurrent relay Instantaneous overcurrent relay, definite time overcurrent relay, inverse time overcurrent relay. First is instantaneous overcurrent relay. So here generally magnetic core is formed by current coil. A piece of iron is so fitted by this hinge support and restraining spring in the relay uh, that when uh, there is not sufficient current in the coil, the no contacts remains the same open. So when the current in the coil crosses the present value, the attractive forces become sufficient to pull the iron pieces towards the magnetic core and consequently the no contacts are closed. So this relay is referred as instantaneous overcurrent relay as ideally the relay operates as soon as the current in the coil gets higher than the pickup setting current. So in practice the operating time of instantaneous relay is in the order of few milliseconds. Next is the definite time over current relay. This is created by applying the intentional time delay after crossing pickup value of the current. So it has the time setting adjustment and pickup adjustment. Next is the inverse time over current relay. This means the speed of the rotation of the rotating arc device is faster if the input current is increased. So this natural characteristic of electromechanical induction disc relay in very suitable for over current protection. Next is the inverse definite minimum time over current relay. So this is ideal inverse time characteristics cannot be achieved in a over current relay. So the secondary current is fed to the relay current of coil. So but when the current transformer becomes saturated, there would not be further proportional increase of current transformer secondary current with increased system current. So as the relay current is not increased further, there would not be any further reduction in the time of operation in the relay. So this time is referred as the minimum time of operation. So hence the characteristics is inverse in the initial part which tends to a definite minimum operating time as current becomes very high. Next is the directional relay. The main principle is the directional over current relay employs the actuation of the relay when the fault current flows into the relay in the particular direction. So if the power flow is in the opposite direction, the relay will not operate. So the directional current over relay recognizes the direction in which the fault occurs relative to the location of the relay. So here's the basic diagram of directional over current relay considering the feeder AXY passing through a section A and the circuit breaker is feeder AY is provided with the directional relay R and the trip the breaker CBY circuit breaker. However, for faults in the feeder AY, the circuit breaker CBY trips due to the direction feature of the relays. This type of relay is also called reverse power relay. So far, the direction of the fault current flow is concerned. Construction and operation. So whenever a near or close up fault occurs, the voltage becomes low and directional relay may not develop sufficient torque for its operation. So each relay is energized by the current from its respective phase and voltage. So one of the methods of such connections is 30 degree connection and other is 90 degree connection. So first 30 degree connection phase are diagram. In this type uh, the current coil of the current coil in the relay of phase A is energized by phase current I amps and the line voltage VAC. Similarly the relay in phase B by IB and VBA and phase C by IC and VCB. So the relay will develop maximum torque when its current and the voltage are in phase. So the diagram shows here. 
x is the 90 degree connection phasor diagram so here the relay in phase in phase A is energized by IE arms and uh, VBC and relay in phase B by IB and VCA relay in phase C by IC and VAB so this relay is dis designated to develop maximum torque when the relay current leaves the voltage by 45 degree so this is the diagram for 90 degree connection phasor diagram this is the construction so it is a metallic disc free to rotate between the poles of two electromagnets you can see in the diagram electromagnets and the spindle of this disc carries a moving contact which bridges two fixed contacts when the disc rotates through an angle which is adjustable between 0 degree and 360 degree by adjusting this angle the travel of moving contact can be adjusted so that the relay can be given any desired time setting which is indicated by the pointer dial is calibrated from 0 to 1 the upper magnet has two windings. Primary coil is connected to the secondary of current transformer through tapping. So the secondary is connected to the lower electromagnet. And the torque exerted on the disc is due to interaction of eddy currents produced. The relay setting is 50% to 200% in steps of 25%. This is the construction and operation of directional over current relay. So here is the diagram which operates when the current exceeds a specific value in a specific direction so for directional unit the secondary winding of the over current relay is kept open that is ab so when directional unit operates it closes and open contacts of the secondary winding of the relay may be either watt meter or shaded pole type so here is the diagram primary winding uh, moving contact secondary winding So under normal operating conditions, the power flows in normal direction in the circuit protected by the relay and therefore the directional unit does not operate. In such cases, the disc of the directional unit rotates to bridge and fixes the contacts A and B. This operates the circuit breaker which isolates the faulty section.